at everyone. Should be at every all store. Oh, okay. Stores. Yeah, you want to hit one up that has a. a route and this is thing. obviously, guys. There's a lot of people say, "What Home Depot is that?" I get that all the time. It. This is a Northeast type promotion. But your Home Depot definitely has a pro and has a rep. People say, "I don't. I never see reps at my store." They might not be wearing the red shirts. They might be wearing a Ryobi shirt. Sometimes. If Sometimes. You wanna, if you don't want to be bothered, you might wear a rigid shirt. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to be bothered. Yes. See, uh, Sean knows what I'm talking. Good tools. I'm just kidding. The batteries, listen, these new Octane batteries, hopefully it's a big improvement. My biggest problem with the rigid platform has been the batteries. They're just... What they're, is it? They're batteries. Really? Yeah. Okay. They've been subpar. Well, you, well let's see what happens with those six and nines. Yep. Yes. There's definitely been a lot What do you got to say about Rigid? They do you have Bluetooth now, too. Yes, they do. So, again, they will, you could look on your phone. So do Milwaukee, though. What's that? Milwaukee does, too. Mm -hmm. But it's not released yet. Well, so our one key system is right. really tool based. Right. Rigid with their Octane system is really battery based. Mm -hmm. Right. So they you could put it on any tool? That yeah. Feedback. yeah. Wow, and, okay. Uh, so you can check the health of the battery just like from your phone. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's smart. So, and you got to remember, TTI probably developed this, right? Because they oh make yeah, the tools. Yeah, right, right in Anderson, South Carolina. That's TTI and Ryobi are really very vertically integrated. And they're in yeah. South Carolina? South Carolina. Yeah, okay. Milwaukee's kind of on its own. Right. In Brookfield, Wisconsin. So again, um, this is manufactured, developed by TTI, like I said. They make the tools. They, they put orange paint in the plastic. Over Put the rigid, and right? Over engineered and underpriced is what Sean Benjamin said. But these are licensed tools. Remember that. Now I'm not saying it's bad. I just like to keep people informed. Some people, you know, this is basically made by rigid. Has nothing to do with this tool, except. They put this name on it. Rigid doesn't have anything to do with anything. Yes. Except it's a brand. It's a brand. And what you know Rigid for is its lifetime service agreement, which you can't beat. Made sales. Made It turned Rigid by the marketing. Whoever came up with that transformed this company into a Porter Cable, a... I wouldn't say Ryobi, because Ryobi's a big-time company. Even though, you know, I mean, a value. But it really pretty much turned Rigid into a main player. I, I, that's my opinion on it. Once they uh, announced this lifetime warranty, people went nuts with Rigid. And it's, it's not, good. It's not for everybody, but everybody should at least put some tools in their hands because for some people they just feel amazing. Like, just yeah, the features. And, and for some people they just fall in love with them and they're extremely loyal. More loyal than, yes. than even, you know. Even Ryobi. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, they feel like, you know, the power numbers are outrageous in all their tools. So they feel like they're getting a Milwaukee or a DeWalt for half the price. Well, so let's say 35, a 40% price, less, right. and they get that lifetime service agreement. Like, yeah, and the people that actually take advantage of that, the pros that take advantage of that are making out. Making out like, like a bandit. bandit. Yeah. But I don't really see, well, you would know. And you see a lot of the, lot of the uh, pro contractors are using Rigid it's, now? It's not pro, like, commercial, but it's more like your residential... Uh, your residential pros. Residential carpenters pros. Carpenters. Carpenters. Stuff like that. Okay. Uh, a lot of these crafts. They are going, you see them moving over to Rigid a little I mean, bit? Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. Right, but. For, for everyone, even DIY. People like you because you're honesty, though. So let's. But, but well, yeah, no, I see. He does get a paycheck from them every week, so you gotta give him a break. But, but, I, but, I, but I do see people. Uh, no, I just think the. I, I get a lot of passion out of the loyal Rigid customers. Yep. And Rigid has really improved throughout the year. Yes, they which have. Which is really good. Like, you're seeing more tools from them now. And once you go brushless, you yes. know what I mean? That's saying something about the brand itself. Yep. That they're investing it's a cheap in way to get into brushless mm -hmm. tools. Yeah. You know? I mean, look, $70. Mm -hmm. $179 for a kit. I mean, DeWalt, Makita, forget about it. Makita, I mean, yeah, we always got their brushes too. This holds up, yeah. You know, I think that's gonna hurt them. The wall, in my opinion, you know, yeah. Like even like sometimes with like customers, you just you talk to them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People who've been in the trade for a while, they want a rigid for like a specialty tool that they need. You know, not investing so much, but again, we get good reviews on what they have. Like, yeah, so now it makes great sense, James. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I agree, and I like I said, now that Ryobi's come out with these brushless tools. Again, a lot of these um, contractors, they don't want to spend a lot of money on having their help bust them, break them, steal them, lose them. Like I said, I go to my father-in-law's, um, you know, they're building a courthouse 
in, in Brooklyn right now. And like I said, I haven't been there probably in like two months, actually probably before Christmas. So I don't know, three months, but it's loaded with green, neon green. And you did a video on this brushless hammer drill, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. My first, that was a lot. My first, I, I, I thought it went great. It was totally live video, review, everything. And it's 119 now. Now it's 119. Now, well, I got it 149 yeah, with a free tool. With a free tool. So I got a free reset. That's I still, how it works. When it's at full price, usually you get something free right. sometimes. And when it's lower, then it's, it's lower. Yes, I mean, it's just the price is lower. But power-wise, too, that impact driver, I, I was telling him, it's probably the most powerful impact driver I've ever used. It's 2200. Yes, but 2200. it's a little bit bigger, you know, it's you know not as smooth. But power-wise, you know, and you got that three-year warranty, that Home Depot kind of, you know, so the contractors love it. They, they bust them, or someone steals it, they can go buy another one cheap. But, you know, if they, if they bust it... What would you compare this, this hammer drill this hammer to? to? Like another brand. I like it better than the, than the rigid hammer drill. You like it better than the oh rigid yeah, hammer drill? absolutely. I like it better. Well, Milwaukee's really good. No, I mean it's you can't beat it, man. For that price, one forty nine with a free tool, and I like it better. So even at one nineteen with the kit, this is a kit one nineteen, and that's one seventy nine with two batteries. You only get one with this. But it's a four. But it's a four. I would go with the Ryobi, no doubt. I I I I, I like Ry. I think. Now, it's also, there's over 100 tools on that that's battery. That's my my thing is listen, they're if they're both the same price, they're probably 60 40. I would go with rigid, but you're usually the problem with rigid is sometimes when they're not on sale, like perfect example, this rotary hammer. This is 249, right? Is it still 249? <laughs> right? Yeah, 249 bare tool. I mean, for, I can get a Bosch for 249 bare tool, you know. 249 brush this is brushed so like certain tools and i can go over to a ryobi which listen it probably doesn't it definitely doesn't have as much power as this but it's 99 dollars. so again I, I would go with the ryobi it, if they're both the same price i think rigid probably makes a little bit better tool but to there's pay 40 percent more there's reasons to buy all of the uh all the brands yeah it, like, it is which one which one fits you the best which really. reasons are you are you in it for the lsa are you in it she for... has a question what's up is it, okay. is it milwaukee uh, sorry. she don't want to get interrupted all right but she's not interrupting but again uh where is that is that rotary drill here from right yeah see i got this i still got a is this the brushless one? No, this is where's the, the brush? The brushless ones that we have with all Ryobi are gonna be in the front. Oh, they are in the front? But the rotary hammer I was looking for, just to give you a kind of a yeah, they have a, their own bay over here. But look, 249. Now again, that rigid is definitely I think this is only what? A um a five eighths maybe. This might only be a five it might even be smaller than that. Is it five eighths? And I think that one's a seven eighths maybe. But, I mean, 99 bucks, man. And uh, the ridge is probably better. And uh, it's maybe a bad example, but the main example I'm saying is for 249 bare tool for a brushed rotary hammer, you can get a Bosch, which is a leader. They are, they make the, one of the, they're one of the best companies in those SDS rotary drills. You know, that, that's my point. But getting back to, here is their brushless. I got this. I gotta get review it. The weather has been terrible, but we're gonna get to these slowly. But all right, so that's it, guys. Um, we had a good talk. We're gonna go check out my man James over in Hackensack one of these days, and we'll see what's going on over there. But um, that's about it, folks. We'll catch you on the next one.